Now she really is the number one person because she's notably significantly ahead of everyone else in a very obvious way. It's time to get a makeover. So you can only customize the Platinum Hostesses, huh? I think that's what this means. So you get her different dresses. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of these. Although a lot of them are color palette swaps, obviously. A lot of cute meters and... Oh, down cute, up beauty. I probably want to complement each of them separately, right? Let's see, one of them was good at being... One of them's good at everything equally. Ah, crap. Now I gotta remember the triangles and circles and stuff. Yeah, circles are good. So one of them was better at being sexy and funny. One of them was equal across the board. So she should specialize in beauty and or cute because uh, nobody else really has those down. What's she starting at? And those are also the two things she starts off being better at in the first place. So if I can up both of those at the same time, that'd be great news. Or even just one of them or something. How much do these cost, by the way? So these are cute and these are beauty. The long halter. That makes her way less funny, apparently. What a weird... What a weird distinction, right? Well, she doesn't have to be funny, because other people are funny already. We've already got, like, the lively person. And that's a good color? How much does it cost? Oh, 900,000. Oh my goodness. That's expensive. That's an expensive dress. Not by the standards of this video game's money, but still. There you go. How about hairstyles? Wow, that's a major difference in her appearance instantaneously, isn't it? There we go. I'm trying to go for cute and beauty more. Can I even make beauty higher? It's already maxed out, right? So you pretty much want this. Or this. I guess at that point it's just a preference thing, because they seem to have the same effect. A popular style that's fresh and conveys, fr conveys friendliness. A $300,000 haircut! Can you change her hair color, too? <laughs> Anime colors! Something feels weird about the idea of changing her hair color, but I guess it's not- uh, it's super normal, I guess, because... I guess a lot of women just constantly dye their hair to begin with. Okay, so now she's super beauty. Yeah, she has high, she has maxed out beauty and cuteness as far as I can tell. We're having a weird day that this is happening again. None of these affect anything. Oh wait, never mind. These are categories. <laughs> oh, this is just customization for the sake of it. Color contacts available. Weird. So you can add makeup, but it doesn't affect anything right now. Okay. Accessories? Like hair accessory? What do, they, what do they do anything though? Or is it just like, yay, let's put stuff on them. Oh, that affects her. But all I can do is make, all I can do is recustomize things to make her worse at the things she's good at and better at things she's not, like, I think... I don't think that, uh, I don't think that the stuff you wear can, can change what type of character that, uh, like, make them better. I think that you can only reshuffle the good and bad things, but in, like, equal measures. And I've kind of already picked a preference here, I think, at this point. So I guess I might be done? You can, you can save these, I guess? Okay. And... Does it update her picture? It does not. Well, that's slightly confusing. <laughs> it doesn't update her picture. Alright, so that's our customized Yuki. Hopefully she'll kick ass at her job or something. Cast on duty. You're all on duty, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything to do there. I don't have other characters to switch them with. Club status? Ah, these are the different regions, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's the five regions. Potential partners. Did it say Sega? Yeah, Sega HG Land. Interesting. 
We have rank F. Interesting. Uh, let's head back out here. Open for business. See how things go, I suppose. Target Club Mars area customers. And we'll see what happens. The club operation screen. Your objective is to make as much money as possible before the shift ends. When a customer comes in and takes a seat, assign him a hostess. Different customers have their own preferences when it comes to looks or ability. Choose a girl that matches their type, and they will happily spend a fortune in your club. Serving customers gradually tires a hostess out, lowering her hospitality points. Without hit HP, oh, that's what HP means, she will be unable to provide uh, high quality service. So. Let her rest until her hit points recover. Hospitality points, I guess. What? Okay. Uh, this got complicated fast, didn't it? Club operation screen. Okay, there's a standby screen over there. You can switch. You can switch people in and out. So it's like an active, like simulator mini game thing, as opposed to the other characters' uh, business stuff. Okay, there's a time limit and an on standby screen. Money gauge and party time. The money gauge at the bottom right corner of the screen shows how much cash your guests have spent at the club at that time. Receiving orders from customers also fills up the money gauge. This feels like it's going to be like one of those restaurant simulator games. Press R1 when it's full to cut loose and play and trigger party time. Okay. And that's that's the that's the gold meter. The other one seems to be an experience meter. So I guess I level I level up. You'd think that he'd be pretty good at this already. Money gauge and party time. Party time will put customers in a fevered state that loosens their inhibitions and their purse strings. There are plenty of benefits to party time, like uh, hostess points restoration for hostesses. Uh, charge up the money gauge to higher levels to make party time even more effective. It's a happy ta it's a happy hour without the discounts. Oh no! It's a happy hour except for all the parts where the pet customer actually is better off. That guy looks so psyched. Look at that sunshine fever image. Serving customers. Press triangle to approach a customer's table if any trouble arises. It's time for the check. Or if a hostess calls for your help. You will be shown several options. Making the right decision can boost customer satisfaction or pacify any troublemakers. Checking in on tables is an opportunity to lead your staff a helping hand. Uh, wait too long and you may lose your chance. So keep your eye open and hurry over to a spot uh, when you spot a signal. Let's see. Extensions and requests. If a guest is happy with his hostess when it is time for the check, you can try suggesting an extension. The customer will stay longer and go into a fever state, spending money like there's no tomorrow. Getting mega rich customers to agree to an extension is a foolproof way to boost sales and keep your girls milking the golden cash cow. As your club makes a name for itself, most customers will come in requesting a specific platinum hostess. Shift the girls around to fulfill these requests as they arrive. Everyone's got a favorite. First, I'd have to get more than one of them, though. Let's see. Result screens. Two result screens appear after closing up. The first displays your profits. The second shows your staff's improvement for the day. Hostesses can earn experience points based on their sales numbers. To level up a hostess more quickly, assign her to guests more often. Earning more fans. Your club will earn more fans depending on its performance. To increase your popularity in a certain area, make sure to target it when opening for business. And send your, and send your customers hope and happy. As your popularity increases, you will qualify... For, uh, uh, so will the quality of your customer base, and with it your profits. You, uh, to progress the five-star storyline, you need to reach a particular number of fans in each area. All right. Uh, three minutes. It's already starting right now. Terrifying. Ah. How do I make this person happy? Uh. Oh God. You get this person. Unless no more customers come in. I thought I'd save the really. I thought I'd save the top one for someone else, but I don't even know if that's a reasonable thing. Is anyone else even gonna come in today? Uh, am I forgetting anything major? Okay, someone is coming in now. Uh, 
Let's give you. You look. That'll make you happy, right? You get Yuki-chan, hoodie guy that wears a hoodie. Congratulations. Be happy and stuff. Where's? Let's see. She needs help. Oh no. Crap. I almost I pressed X instead of triangle at first. Uh. Okay, time paused. Good. She's giving a signal. Ladies' glass, please. She need does she need a glass? Ladies' glass. What? Oh, I thought there's a time limit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to interpret the what? Okay, it's fine. Uh, are you happy with this person? I hope. There's so much interface to look at. Okay, so she said ladies' glass, please. And I was supposed to click on ladies' glass, but I didn't even find. I didn't interpret what was happening fast enough. Okay. It's fine, we'll figure this out. I'm slowly making incredibly minor amounts of money. Yay. Oh no, there's a lack of girls, so we couldn't... We couldn't see the guest at all. Check, please. Uh... Let's give it... Let's give a gift to make them happy. Yay, we improved their mood. So now, that'll probably help our reputation. So now she's recovering hit points over there, right? Okay. Love and talk. Am I supposed to do something there or am I just watching? I think, I think I'm just watching right now. Let's make everybody happy. I've got so much money. I don't even care. Everyone's very satisfied. My reputation is going to kick serious ass tonight, which is the only thing I care about. There we go. I almost feel like I'm doing something right. I'm just gonna give everybody a gift. They're gonna be so psyched when they leave today. I'm just gonna go all in on that strategy and we'll see if it pays off or if I'm being an idiot. Yay! This person's hit points is going down quickly. How do I review my... I'm trying to look... I'm trying to look more accurately at the hit points of the people over there, but I can't really see them. Average? Let's give it to you. They have some money, so hopefully they'll, have, they'll enjoy that a bit. So average means that they have average money, right? Shine, sunshine fever, let's try that. Sure. Is everybody super psyched and gonna give me tons of money now? Yay. I am mostly pretending to know what I'm doing right now, to be fair. Oh. You're not gonna be entirely pleased with that person? But not seating someone seems like a bad idea. They haven't made requests yet, have they? I feel like I almost have it. Like I, like I feel like I almost have this figured out. Gracious send off. Give expensive gift. Uh. Let's do expensive gift. Boom. Word of mouth. Let's get some bonuses and stuff. Uh, what's going on here? Help, please. What does she want? Towel? Menu. She just, the gesture meant menu. Okay. Haha. -ha. This Dance Dance Revolution music that's playing right now. <laughs> You're you're supposed to be recovering stamina uh, hit points over there, right? In, on the left. I guess money's just pouring out of that character, and and his averageness. Give everybody a gift. Screw it. Make everybody happy all the time. You can apologize. Oh. We're filling up that ex that meter. Ah. It's over, I guess. So the gift, I spent like a million on gifts, but I made like four and a half million, which seems like, yeah, that's a, yeah, let's give everybody gifts, make them happy. That seems like it's a good call. Look at them level ups. Oh my goodness, Namiko. I mean, every, uh, she seemed to be somebody that a lot of people wanted. Like Yuki has decent stats, but nobody actually wanted those stats. So I should probably, I don't know, making, keeping Endo as, an, as a catch-all might be a good idea. 
But I should, I should probably customize Namiko to go further down the, her extremes to complement uh, Yuki, probably. It seems like a good idea. She's already higher level now, and apparently costs more. Okay. We just got 190-something in the Mars area, whatever that means. Maybe 19%? Who knows what 190 even means in this context. Thank you for coming! Whew. Not too shabby, still. We're short on guests and gals. Is there no way around that outside of the daily grind? If you want to hire new girls, I suppose scouting them around town is the quickest way. You can add new girls to the club roster by scouting talent around Sotenbori, or by trading in CP from the completion list at the temple. It'll be hard to outperform the competition with an empty roster, so try to fill it out as soon as possible. So that's that's the scouting talent thing from that we talked about probably. Oh, I probably met some of them via side quests if I go outside, right? And word of mouth from everybody from everyday business is one way to bring in new customers. But I hear uh, signing deals with other local businesses is also effective. Some of Suttonbury's shops will sign partnership deals with you for a price. Partner businesses will send their clients your way, growing Sunshine's fan base in a hurry. More fans means more customers, which in turn means more profits, so sign deals with any hot spots you find. <clears throat> Makes sense. Scout for girls, partner up with local shops. Got it. Looks like I'm gonna be busy outside the club, too. Hi. Absolutely. The whole city's our battleground. There's a lot to do, but good luck, sir. I'll take my best crack at it any anyway. This place really needs more girls. Hardly any point to opening the doors as it stands now. Huh. Ah! There's the girls over at the Grand I got from the Odyssey in that trade. As long as we got Nozomi, we're covered at the Grand. Should be fine if I bring the rest over here. I'll put that- I'll put in that call now. You critted Harumi! And Yume! Kirara! I'm amazed, if not surprised, Majima-san. Hard to believe that was your first time. Keep that up, we might just really manage to beat those bullies back. Mm -hmm. And which bullies might that be exactly? We came back in the same night because we're really desperate. Ugh, oh, you know. I'm here for your answer, as promised. Well, ready to sell this hovel to me yet? I told you before, the answer is no. <sighs> I see. And I was hoping to do this amicably. Shame. Alright, you lot. Oh, I'm gonna ruin these people. Mm -hmm. What are you? Teach this stubborn fool the reality of this situation. Uh, so you resort to violence in the end. You're a coward, you know. <laughs> Sticks and stones. We'll see which comes first. You give me what I want or you die. Either way, I can't wait. Do it. Hold up a second. What are you supposed to be? Name's Majima. Yuta Hans asked me to take over operations here. And as long as I'm standing, nobody's making trouble in my shop. <laughs> a new manager? <laughs> I see. I'll grant you. It's a wiser choice than letting a dimwit like Yuta keep running this dunghill into the ground. And you seem like you know your way around a fight. So you're the boss and the bouncer. Clever choice. For an idiot, I'm impressed, truly. What do you want us to do? Take this guy out too? Yeah. No. I find myself curious to see how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. We can crush them anytime. I look forward to being entertained as I watch just how far you manage to crawl after making enemies the five stars. You were lucky today, Yuda-san. And Majima-san? Well, why don't you try your best? If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you are. Uh. If you're one of the five stars, why don't you know who the, lead, who the uh, guy that runs the Grand is? Bring it, Porky. <laughs> Enjoy watching Enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come crumbling down on top of you. Hope your ass is ready to get buried. Also, who told this guy that polka dots is a sign of power? Because it's concerning to me. Huh. Well, we'll see how long that big talk lasts. I advise you not take the five stars lightly. Thank you, Majima-san. Don't worry about it. The real battle's just starting. 
We gotta whip this club into fighting shape fast if we want to take him on. Yeah. We will. I'll give it all I've got, Majima-san. Anytime you want the the uh, to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. I've got my hands full with my own place too, so I can't be here around the clock. I'll make a point to drop by whenever I get a minute, though. So that's one of Sutton Boy's five stars. This might be tougher than I thought. Let's ruin him. It won't be tougher. We're gonna. It's a. It's a management simulator. I got this. I'm not great at them, but. How tough could it be, right? Mysterious woman. Huh. Goro Majima. Things are about to get interesting. Is she one of the five stars? Will one of the actual leaders in these situations actually be female? Because <laughs> it's so far, it's never been that ca that way, and it's almost getting weird. I'm starting to get why uh, Yamagata Han told me to check out the cabaret clubs. But that ate up more time than I planned. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> I should get uh, back... To I should get going back to the Grand. Yeah, even I was like, whoa, that was a long one. No no one standing outside? Oh. I thought like all of our old friends were going to be hanging out outside and, and we could meet up with all of them. But none of them are here instead. I guess I probably can't do it again, huh? Or can I? I mean, I mean if I'm going to go in there again, I want to have all my potential recruits there. Are you one of them? Are you a side quest? I'm afraid. All right, the shrine's here. I gotta have so much CP for this character to spend. Let's do this business casting call. Employ a new hostess. The club sunshine must unlock it first. I'm gonna buy the crap out of that. Oh, you have, you have it's an actual conversation. Excuse me? Yeah. You're with Club Sunshine, right? My name is Junko. Can I work at your club? You're Junko-chan, huh? You seem like you'd be popular at our club. Sure. We'd love to have you. There we go. Looks like we got a real winner. I'm gonna have to step up my game up here. So can I just keep doing that? Like over and over again? Until people get tired of it? <laughs> Cause I got a lot of CP here. There's also a makeover down there. Hey. Yeah? You're with Club Sunshine, right? My name's Akina. Can I work at your club? Akina-chan, huh? You seem like you'd be really popular at a club, but of course, we'd love to have you. Akina! Okay, they mostly just say the same thing, don't they? Alright, let's go a little faster then. Let's see who all we can recruit here. I can get, like, two more still. Same dialogue as always. Oh, you have to wait for the, the animation to finish, though. Yep, it's the same dialogue every single time. Shizuka! <laughs> if only I could just click on all of them at once. Excuse me? Her name's Shiho. Shiho-chan. I swear half these people legitimately have the same faces. Kind of like how at first we're like, wow, it's amazing how many faces there are in this game. But before long it was like, wow, I've seen that same thug a lot. <laughs> Eventually you start seeing the same thug a lot of times. And only three more CP to get my next uh, makeover. That's what I get for investing in money magnet before I realized how big of a, a thing businesses were going to be. Her name is... Chizu. This is Chizu-chan. And they all come with their own sparkly get-ups immediately. Alright, well now I have... How many did I just recruit? Five of them? Let's double check. Yeah, okay. So the first time was a three-person run. Now, I've, then I got three more people from the Grand and five more people from Casting Call. Which quickly amounts to there being a whole lot more characters at the Cabaret next time I go there. Whoo, okay. So the next one's going to be significantly more uh, intensive, I would assume, since I think I have to, uh, jeez. Yeah, I'd have, I, I would have like a full standby bar, so it'd, it'd become, there'd be a whole lot going on there, which means I could potentially have a ton of customers, but I need to increase word of mouth, I think, which is why I was spamming the gifts, because I think if I spam gifts like that, then I can probably get everybody really happy, which should increase, like, improve word of mouth, which should hopefully lead to 
more people coming. And with more people coming into the cabaret, I then can seat more people with all the characters I actually have to seat them. And that all turns into a net infinite feedback loop of profit, I hope. I have, rem I have remarkably little understanding of how to do this for somebody who literally runs a cabaret, apparently. Who are you? Jaunty guy. Hey, hold up a sec, will ya? Uh huh? Ain't you that guy Majima who runs the Grand? Huh? Yeah, that's me. Thought so. How's it going? Making mad moolah? I do alright for myself. How about you? Uh... You really, you really gonna ask that? You're the one who brought it up, smart guy. To tell you the truth, I got serious money problems. Yeah? Well, the bank of Majima's closed, sorry. No, no. The trouble is, I got more cash than I can use. Oh no, it's one of these guys that is like, hey, let's spam money. Say what? You earn all that from tips? You some kind of guitar, uh, guitar maestro? Oh, this money's all mine. I hand it out to people who listen to me play. Are you for real right now? Well, what else am I gonna do? No matter how much I spend, I can't get rid of it. I took it to the bank, but they said that they ain't got enough room in the vault. Figured people take some off my hands if I played them a song or two. Why not skip the tunes and just give it out? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. I see why they call you the Lord of the Night. What's that got to do with anything? And you really that rich? Feels more like you're yanking my chain. Oh, is my wealth that obvious? I try not to flaunt it too much, but when you're the king, you got the aura of bling. <laughs> Ain't no way to hide my high baller vibe. Yeah. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but you look more like a cross between a lounge singer and a used car salesman. Huh? Seriously, the sleaze is just oozing right off you. What? Well, you're not. You're nothing like the type who shows up in my club and throws money around, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, I thought you might say that. What, so you're admitting it? It's been stressing me out. I really am rolling in dough, but for whatever reason, people think I look like the human embodiment of a gutter. Are you trying to tell me a sob story? Because it ain't working. What I'm trying to do is find a way to show my wealth. That's when I heard the rumors about you, Majima-san. Sultan Bori's Lord of the Night. First time I saw you on the street, guys and girls were falling over themselves left and right to get in your good, good graces. Yeah, I don't exactly like all the attention. But you don't seem rich at all, Majima-san. Huh? Sure, you look flashy on the outside, but it feels like an act to me. I can see the veneer peeling off. Oh, I hope I'm not offending you or anything. Huh. Guess you got you got some savvy after all. What? Never mind. Tell me. Why'd you go stopping me on the street if you think I'm faking it? Yeah, about that. I was thinking maybe you and I could be friends. What? I want you to show me how to act rich. And what makes you think I'd do that? What's in it for me? For you? Yeah. You may have money coming out of your ears, but I gotta work to get paid. And time is money. Don't know what to say to that. Let me ask you then, what's the difference if you look rich or not? It's a huge difference. When you look rich, you can hit on girls without them screaming and running away. They might actually listen for a change. Who knows? Maybe ladies will start trying to talk me into marrying them. I could build them a whole harem. So you're just another horn dog chasing tail after all. Pretty damn pathetic. How the hell did you get rich in the first place? I don't, underst I don't understand this world sometimes. <laughs> When it comes to money, I got all the luck. It just seems to fall into my lap. Just like how girls fall into the laps of popular guys, I guess. Okay, now you're just being a creeper. How about this, then? If you help me earn some green, I'll be your pal. What? That ain't how it works. Friendship ought to be something you give away for free. Oh, now you're gonna take the moral high ground. If you're that rich, you may as well buy a few friends. Huh? So friendship can be bought. Alright. 
I'll buy you Majima-san. How much? This is the exact opposite of, like, how, like, generally... Generally, like, Kiryu's morality and decision-making works. <laughs> What'll it take for you to hang out with me? Your sleaze is making my skin crawl. If you got pockets that deep, just come to my club as a customer. Your club? Uh... If that ain't gonna fly, forget it. No cash, I walk. Oh, no! It ain't that I don't want to go. It just seems I'd have a hard time spending much cash at a cabaret. You really think so? The Grand ain't some pop-up dive bar, pal. Those girls will have you paying through the nose. Oh, don't worry. I got the money. Gotta say, I liked that thing with the money shower before. Might give it a try myself one of these days. And that's just, there we, there we go, now we have the money shower. I know. How about you invest in our fund? Then you'll be making money hand over fist. Fund? What's that? An investment fund. Me and other wealthy people around the country share info and take contributions from investors. We got the smarts to make the money work for us, so we can uh, be sure it's going to pay dividends. Well, ain't you, Mr. Freak and Fancy Pants? Change the subject, and you're a whole new man. Yeah, I did it again, did I? My bad. Anything money-related, and I run my mouth off. Off. Us fat cats are like that. Still, ain't gonna make a profit with loose change, right? I'd have to invest big. Yeah, of course. Anyway, I talked enough for one day. Let's go over this some other time. Yeah, sure. You can usually find me around here. Come see me again if you're interested. You got to know Tanio Tanioka, otherwise known as Mr. Moneybags. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time in the pause menu. Blah 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 blah. So we have a. F He's actually playing his guitar. How though? Wait, how are you playing that guitar? The what? Does your electric guitar have speakers built into it? Where is the sound coming from? <laughs> There's no amp. There's clearly even a plug for an amp and nothing sticking out of it. I think that's the plug for the amp. There's also no guitar straps, but frankly, as somebody who played rock band for years and years, I'm used to that, at least. But it's definitely a weird sight. So we gotta build up his friendship to get, probably make money. All right, that probably help my other businesses. 